Today for you and I is just a average, normal Sunday at the beginning of October, October the 1st, 2023. But in China, it is their national day. And in China, they are celebrating an eight day holiday, which is including the mid autumn festival. A very warm welcome to the channel. What you just saw there was a flyover from the People's Liberation Army Air Force in Hong Kong. So what is happening on this special day? Well, it started sort of like on Friday with the Mid-Autumn Festival, which was the 29th. Yesterday was Martyr's Day. And today, or more recently, the dictator, the president, Xi Jinping, Winnie the Pooh, made a speech to the public. Let me just show you a small snippet of that. We must this was the day way back in 1949 where Mao Zedong, Mad Mao, the person basically who killed over 40 million people through starvation while he just got fat eating lobster and very expensive food, called China the People's Republic of China. And it is remembered in a square in China, Beijing. Even Shaq O'Neal, the former NBA champion, I do believe was there um, doing something. Not too sure what, but he is in China. Now, lots of celebrations went on and in Shanghai, they are promoting it looked like this. With holidays comes traffic, which we did cover the traffic chaos a couple of days ago and what it's like. Many people in China, like many people around the world, do have these EV electric cars. 
But these charging stations, some people had to wait two hours, two hours just to charge their car. Ah, this is the Shandong Shuguang Fuqi's situation. Let you see the situation of the Fuqi. The charging station is waiting. 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 While students do get a vacation, some students still have to go to work. The education system in China, I would say, has got better, but it's got a long way to go. They've got to kick out the old and in with the new. In China, especially for primary school, they can have a nap at lunchtime, which I personally think is really bad because if you're going to work for, I don't know, a international company like Google. Then, sorry, or an international company, I don't know, which has the nine to six policy. Then the boss is not really going to allow you to have a two-hour nap at lunchtime. So it's the wrong encouragement, in my point of view. You can agree or disagree. Comments below, please. And as always in China, somewhere there, there has been a little landslide, maybe because of the water-logged earth and because of all these floods and hurricanes and typhoons, which have hit China quite heavily this year in 2023. And finally, you do get some Muppets, some clowns who live in China. They are foreigners who have committed their lives to communism and the way of China. The China is good and America is bad like that. This guy here, let me just quote what he read. 
stay away from highly popular and brainwashing books and start reading a red book which teaches you the something I can't read it. Basically what he's saying is read read uh, Mao's little red book. It's really good on travel. Yeah, Read a book about a guy who dictated and made China really bad and when he did pass away then China started to open up to the world, something that he didn't want to do. And it's something that you feel like Xi Jinping wants to do again, to reincarnate this situation. Thank you so much for your time. My name is James. This is the James N. Cooper Show. Give it a thumbs up. Just what's happening in China for today. And I'll be back for a little bit more later. Enjoy your very peaceful and restful Sunday. Cheerio for now. Thank you.